y'all, this is going to be my doula video. We have decided that uh, we are hiring a doula, which I need to pay her. I need to call her. I haven't talked to her in a few days. Um, I'll go into everything, but I'm really excited about it. And so I wanted to share that experience specifically with you guys. Um, I've got my paperwork here, and I'm just going to kind of go over the highlights of kind of what it involves um, having a doula, you know, what 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 it is, what her services are going to be for us, basically. Um, she's going to meet with us. Um, sh she can meet with you frequently or however frequently or infrequently we need her to. Um, we'll probably do a few childbirth classes uh, with her just so, you know, um, we know together, Micah and I together, um, some pain management things. That was something I had asked for specifically was just some tools that he and I can use to, to help me manage pain. But anyway, so she'll meet with us for however many times we want basically on, um, uh, you know, labor coaching, childbirth class, that kind of thing. Um, also, um, she's going to be there to give us reassurance and perspective. She'll give us suggestions to help labor progress and other comfort measures. You know, as whenever you're actually in labor, it's hard to process and think things through. And so she'll be there to offer that guidance on, you know, what can be done and to offer modeling for Micah in case he needs some help with things. Um, she can steer us in the direction of, uh, uh, websites and books and, you know, just any general questions that I have that maybe I haven't found an answer to or maybe I just want, you know, her opinion on where she, what she looked to for, for her information. She did give me three books and I meant to bring them upstairs with me to show y'all what, um, what she uh, is letting me borrow. Um, the, the one that I've gone through so far is A Woman's Guide to a Better Birth, I think is the title of it. I don't know. I'll look and make sure, but it's really, really good. I, I like that book a lot. Um, so I recommend it. I, I'll try to bring it for a different vlog or something at some point so I can share it with y'all. Um, She'll be on call uh, for me 24 hours a day beginning two weeks before the estimated due date and up until labor begins. So just because I hit 40 weeks, it's not like she's off duty and she's not going to come when the when the baby arrives. And really, she seems like a down-to-earth, really nice person. I'm thinking that if the baby were to come three weeks early, not that I anticipate that happening. Or I don't think that that would happen. Um, but in the event that that did happen... Even if she's not on call, I think she's the type of person I could call her and and if it was doable, she would totally be there. She is a very nice person and um, from meeting with her, um, her passion is birth and she would, you know, be disappointed if she didn't make it for whatever reason. So, um, but that's just when she goes officially on call and she's like just waiting by the phone basically for you to have that baby. Um... She'll stay with me from the time I ask her to, to join me for, for labor until around two hours after the baby's, until the baby's born. Um, she'll want to get us like nice and settled. And she said she usually just takes the cue from the family. You know, once we're kind of ready and we feel comfortable, then, uh, then she can go. Um, I, I prefer, or this time around, I'm, I really want to labor as much at home as I can before I go to the hospital. I don't want to go to the hospital with some minor contractions and be one centimeter and then have to be there for forever. I want to stay at home as long as I can without it, of course, being too dangerous. I don't want to deliver a baby at home, and neither does she. I mean, I, I did want to go the home birth route. Don't get me wrong. We That was something we had evaluated. But since we're not and we are having the baby at the hospital, I prefer for the baby to be born at the hospital. So... Um, anyway, so laboring at home, she said that was cool. If I felt like I needed her at the house with me, that she'd be willing to come to the house. And, you know, once we go to the hospital, she'll go with us. Um, let's see. Um, she says, at no time will I take over or exclude the partner. I'm there to support both of you. A doula helps the partner as well as any other family members at the birth. Um, 
she's there to help them feel calm and informed and give them ideas to continue support from the beginning to the end. So she's there to support me, she's there to support them, and she's there to help them support me. Um, so I, I really like that. Um, she does not perform any clinical tasks such as blood pressure or fetal monitoring. Um, she doesn't speak to the staff, like she's not going to tell a nurse what I do or don't want. Um, that'll be kind of up to me or Micah, but she'll be there on hand where if we have questions or we're not sure what questions to ask, you know, she's there to help us out with that. Um, and this was a something that I liked whenever we had our uh, meeting was that, like I said before, a lot of times whenever you're in labor, you don't know, I don't, it's such an almost out of body experience and it goes excuse me, it goes by so fast that um, sometimes you just don't realize that there are other options. Like, I, like I don't want an epidural this time. I want to go natural. Well, if things change. What if I am at seven, six or seven centimeters with like horrible, horrible contractions for hours and hours and I'm like, okay, I want some pain medication. That may happen. I'm aiming for that to not happen and she's going to be there to support me for that to not happen. But if I get down to the point where I'm like, no, really, I need to do this instead. I know about of convincing me is changing my mind. You know, she's there to offer other options like, you know, whatever other pain options are available or what, you know, getting up and moving, just, just other ways to cope with the pain, whether it is natural or something that can be provided by the hospital. She, she'll know those options and we can talk them through and make sure that it's something that I really do want. Um, she'll come and meet with me during the postpartum period, uh, you know, check out the baby because of course, you know, she'll want to see the baby, um, discuss the birth and any other concerns that I may have at that time. And if I need, like, referrals for nursing, anything like that, she'd, she'd be able to help out. Um, she does also offer additional visits for breastfeeding support um, and also being a postpartum doula. Um, I forget what her rate was, but um, she'll come after your, your home from the hospital if you need anything. Um, my obligations to her is I've, I need to keep her updated after visits, which, you know, I'm excited to share that kind of stuff anyway, so I'll just shoot her an email or call her and let her know what's going on, how the appointment went. Um, I'll call her when I think I may be in labor, even if I'm not sure, um, so that she can make arrangements to attend, just in case, you know, if I think that I'm having contractions, just so she kind of has an idea, okay, this may or may not be it, but... You know, I'll be waiting by the phone. She says, don't hesitate to call at night because, you know, that's what she's there for. Um, I know a lot of people have asked me, like at work, when I've talked about the fact that we are getting a doula, they're like, well, what if you go into labor and, like, the baby comes really fast and she's not there and, you know, do you get your money back? And, um, you know, we did talk about that and she's very flexible, but... Um, what she has done in the past, which I, I think she said she, no, she had a situation where the woman ended up having a cesarean for some reason, and she was still there for the birth, you know, I think when the baby was born. I hope I'm saying, I, I hope that I'm telling the story right. Anyway, um, she offered uh, more hours of postpartum care, like she came home, uh, or went to the, to the mom's home and helped out with the baby, and offered assistance in any way she could. So, um, so you are still going to get your money's worth, even if something like that were to happen. Um, and like, it's, like I said, she's a, seems like an awesome person. This is something that she loves to do. And, um, she does not strike me as a person, as a type of person that would just like leave you high and dry. You know, she does this because she loves it, not to turn it all or on it, basically. Um, I think that's kind of it. She did have me fill out um, a lot of information. Well, not a whole lot, but, you know, just some basic information on my previous births and how they went, um, my fears, any concerns that I have, um, you know, 
kind of, a, I guess, her family situation. That, you know, just basic, basic stuff um, that she would need to know to, to help us out better with everything. I hope I covered all of that. I'm, I'm not sure. Our meeting went so well, and I really, really like her. And Micah... I don't know that he's excited about it because men don't usually get excited, but um, he's down with it. He's cool with it. He thinks it's a good idea to have some.